Hi, I'm Rebecca, and in this film we're going to look at the difference between sharing and grouping. Now, it's really important that you teach your children the difference, because this is something that can really confuse them. So let's take a look. Here, I have a problem that involves sharing, and sharing is where you're given a number and you have to share it into equal groups. So, we have 12 marbles need to be shared equally between four children. How many marbles will each child have? Now, the key number here is four. So I'm going to draw myself some four circles so that I can share the marbles into them and the circles represent the children. So there's my four circles. And then I can share the marbles into them until there are none left. And from doing this, we can really quickly see that each child is going to get three marbles. So then you'd want to move your children on to writing a number sentence to show what it is that they've done. And what they've done is they've taken 12 marbles, they've divided them into four groups, and the answer is three. So let's have a look at a grouping problem. With this one, 12 marbles are grouped into packs of four. How many packs are there? And grouping is where you want to know how many groups you will get into a given number. So the number's 12, but I'm looking at four because I've got to put them into groups of four. So I'm going to draw around four lots of marbles at a time. And from that, you can very easily see that there are going to be three packs of marbles. Again, ask your pupils to write this as a number sentence. So we've taken 12 marbles, we've divided them, into four packs, and the answer is that we're going to end up with three packs of marbles. So there you go, that's the difference between sharing and grouping.